day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Father, but by me. Y'all have to be patient with one another. Be gracious toward one another. I put the definition, read those four us there. Patience. Uh, and then I put the opposite of being patient. <laughs> All right, patience right now. The capacity to accept or tolerate the less struggle or suffering without getting angry or upset. Well, <laughs> find bargains if you have the patience to sift through the drug. Uh-huh. Synonym, forbid, tolerance, restraint, self-restraint, resignation. Which goes into self-control, right? And I like and I like that definition. I put up there. The fact is, you see, I wanna, you saw that. I think you said is when uh, when you first I remember I would like to hear some of your testimony. You know, when you first started out, right? And you <laughs> you yeah, the Bible, but you didn't get angry. Though. I don't think you did, right? Or did you? Well, there was no angry in it. It was just I knew what the word said, and I knew how people were not falling in line with it. Right. So it was not. So I didn't tolerate the, the I guess, the non-tolerance, uh -huh. the, the, the non. Uh, uh, if you weren't in line with what the word says, I had no no reserve to let you know. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? There, there was no compassion for that person. There was no. I didn't tolerate the the their lack of not knowing right. or not being renewed in that area of their life or anything. Yeah. There, there, I had no self restraint in saying what I saw if it wasn't according to what 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 I knew to be the gospel, what I knew to be uh, what it meant to be a child of God, right? And the gifts and the blessings that we had. If, if, if you walk around saying I'm sick, <laughs> I'm saying you know by His stripes you're healed. That's what you're getting from me. You know, why are you saying you sick when the Bible says by his stripes you are here? You know, that's that's why you sick because you're accepting it. You know, you were, and, and that that was my, yes, yeah. my of, of, of approach. Right. You know, once I learned something, that was it. If the Bible said it, the Bible said it, and that was it. There was nothing in between. Come on now, I hear you. And like so, they had the mercy and grace to go, the compassion goes with it. It was none. I, I was all fire and brimstone. Yeah. At that point. And when I look back, I'm like, good grief. <laughs> what was wrong with me? <laughs> if y'all notice I, I was I I you know, I got some information. It changed my life. Yeah. yeah. And I, my desire was for it to change other people's lives. Yeah. And if, they, and if I knew they heard it, it bothered me that they didn't Receive is what I'm gonna say, right? The way I saw it, you see exactly. it, you know, that their faith wasn't applied as mine was. Right. Not, not my faith in it was was all that. It's just right. where I was. Exactly. I'm just, I was just sold out. <laughs> and yet, and yet, <laughs> full of sin. <laughs> every minute, every, I mean, it was crazy. <laughs> I tried going through every day without sin yes sir. and fail every day i'd wake up and a part of my my prayer was you know i'm not sinning today yes sir yes sir and and and, and before i even made it to work or probably did something that was considered sin in the eyes of god yes sir uh but not having the understanding that it wasn't the sin uh -huh. it was the, the 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 renewed mind that i should have been after. it was it, it, it should have been that myron is not the one yeah christ is and only through christ only through christ. will be only through christ 
could I have tolerated Come on. what these people were experiencing? Come on. And, and some some words of compassion yes, to sir. people, to uplift them, you yes. know, to, to not think that Myron can make it through a day without sin. Come on now. Out of life. Because on. Myron never did. No, sir. I, I, I can attest to that. Hey, what, what I like about you is that my, like, one of the pieces of the gospel is that he who had begun a good work in you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying is, is to have that the passion to understand who's doing the work. Yeah. I'm not doing the work, he's doing the work, right? Yeah. And me as well as them. And, and and it goes back to the woman of adultery. I, I, I knew I couldn't I throw the first stone. You know what I mean? You, you know you couldn't throw it. And then unfortunately, truthfully, hardly anybody else can throw the stone because they ain't there. I could have. You said what? The only one that could have thrown that stone. Yes, sir. That's the, the one that was speaking. Yeah, and he's the one that had the compassion. And he had the one that had the grace. And he just trying to tell us to do the same thing. I need you to get to that point of grace. I mean, how about the thing like Peter said, what Jesus told Peter, how many times do you supposed to forgive somebody a day? You know, Peter said there and said seven times, right? He, he thought he was doing good. He said seven times. Now Jesus said, now seven times 70 is how often you supposed to be, you forgive your brother a day. That's showing a lot of compassion and self-forgiveness, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, and see, you look at the part about the intolerance definition. Look at that. Well, well look at that one, though. Is that, read that one for us and, and see. Unwillingness to accept views, beliefs, or behaviors that differ from one's own. Struggle <laughs> against religious intolerance. Yes, sir. Leave it at me. <laughs> <laughs> Narrow mindedness. Small mindedness. Parochialism. You Paro know? Yeah, parochialism. Yes, sir. <laughs> what I'm saying is that some of these things we see sometimes with with us in the body of Christ is that we 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 get this, you know, we we, we have to work past these things. We don't want, especially in the word of bigotry. You almost tell us, oh, how how is it we still have this uh prejudice and this racism <laughs> all these are intolerance and it's intolerance because a person says you're not going my way and god has said no 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 i want you to be patient to a people to help them find the way and to find the way is jesus right now fact, we gotta we gotta point the way excuse me we, we're not helping to find it right we're helping we're pointing people toward jesus that is the way. If they looking for the way, we point to the way. See, it's not me that I point to. I point toward Him, you know. And that's what God is looking for. And I think you you'll get you'll bring more people into the gospel, into the into the uh, into the faith by showing your mercy and your compassion, because that's what they look at, don't they? If you think about, yeah. You know, uh, you can't find fault in that. You can't. You can't. You can't, you can't accuse, make accusations toward that, toward compassion. No. You can, but it show fall short. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Uh, how are you going to make accusa accusations against love? Come on now. Against long suffering? No. No. You know, against goodwill. Come on now. And you know the thing about it is the fact that I think that's why he said we overcome him, the Satan, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Mm -hmm. I think a person's testimony of how they have arrived or overcome something is more of a compassion than the accusation or the put down of people. It's to just say, look, man, look, I was there. I may not have been, you know, I may not have been an alcoholic, but I was a something else. You know what I mean? I, I may not, I mean, I may not understand your struggle in this area. I may never had that struggle. But let me tell you about the struggle I did have. 
Let me tell you the power that I had to overcome in this area. You know, and I think that's good. People can relate to that when we sit there and show our testimony. That's why I think Carol was so effective, uh, or is effective when they do those. You know, when we do those talks, and and in the talks, you're supposed to give a a a, uh, a story uh, or a testimony, really, of something that relates to that topic you're talking about. And and how many times you see some of those people that was told none the talk showing their the the remembrance of it the 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 emotion that came out of it you know and you know those i think those inmates responded to that testimony they saw hey he 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 been there like me you know he 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 i can i can, they can sense the person going coming through going through something and coming out of it you know that's why i think that's why i think in the scripture saying in revelation i overcame by the blood of the land the word of a testimony let people see your compassion it just so important toward jesus because he's the one that delivered if he can deliver me <laughs> from my scenario he can deliver you and i think that's why i just want to put that in there and show the difference between going in 2022 just being patient not sugarcoating because christ said that i ain't actually the why i mean sugarcoat i mean christ said i'm not if you if you're guilty of something you're guilty and there's consequences in this world for being guilty but there's a there's a salvation eternally if you want to repent and come to christ the Christ is where you can get your deliverance from. And I, and I just want to be able to throw, throw that in there is for people going in to 2022, learn to be patient toward one another. A lot of cases, I, I don't know about you, but a lot of cases when I used to think about that, I'm more trying to find patience for me. You ever done, you know what I mean? It's always been your patience concerning you and, 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 and things that are your personal goal. But I, what, I, what I'm talking about is having patience toward others. It's, 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 I'm, I'm working on, seriously working, to allow Christ to respond instead of my life. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm trying to have the patience in situation and circumstances in, in in every aspect of my life to not uh, respond as mine, but to, to use what Christ has put into me and allow him to respond. Yes. You know, even though I can't stop the thoughts in my mind yes. that are, are obviously there, yes. you know, you kind of look at scenarios in your mind like I can is this how is this person coming at me? Yes. And trying to figure out how to respond to yeah. that. Yeah. Have those thoughts, but allow the spirit give give way to the spirit. Take a moment yes. to allow the spirit to respond instead of my yes. And, and I'm finding that, man, the, 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 the outcomes are, are glorious. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and something that I can reflect on, you know, especially after the moment has passed. Yes. And that encounter is over with. Then the review of that in my mind as I go my way, man, it's just like awesome. I can... It's like I'm on the outside looking in. Yes, come on. The moment that the Holy Spirit was in control. Yes. And, and the witness, even though I was a part of it, I get to witness it. Yes, you know, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm on the other end of it. Come on now. I find myself doing that when, when, when I'm ministering. You know, things that I say 
It's like I'm sitting next to myself, yes, <laughs> listening to the spirit speak. Yes, and sometimes, in America, and sometimes I get caught up in that and get off because <laughs> I'm so amazed. And I'm like, man, where did this come from? And so it'll throw me off sometimes for, for a brief moment. But <laughs> you know, God is always speaking if, if you just give way to him. And the spirit that's within is, is always there. It's always available. Yes. And man, if you just give it time and place, then it will manifest. And that's when these people are going to see God in this world. They're going to see signs and wonders. Yeah. You know? And and, and, and that's where I'm at. And I, I'm really trying to, 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 to be that. Well, I think, and I think it's a priest of kingdom. It's because that, that's where, when you see these impacts, it's, it's in the kingdom, right? The kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven is like, right? That's Christ. Christ is always, when he's preaching, he's preaching about the kingdom. And it's like, hey, God, the kingdom principles that I'm talking to you about. Mm -hmm. In the kingdom is where that deliverance is at, where the power of God, God's kingdom is. is I mean, I, I think that's why when I was looking at Malvin Rose, talking about the fact is, Christ preached the kingdom. And anytime you can just point toward the kingdom, in the kingdom, in my father's house. Woo! I'm talking about the pro you know, prodigal son, right? In my in my father's house. <laughs> I, I just want to bring you, I'm pre I'm preaching you to what Christ preached is in this kingdom. There's that deliverance. There's that kingdom. I know, seriously, I, I just it was just this party saying saying it. To get the fruits of the spirit is part of the kingdom. The characteristics of the fruits of the spirit is is what Christ God was proclaiming to Moses. I'm full of compassion. I'm long suffering. I'm gracious and merciful. That's why I want to see if we. I think we can get more. No, it's not. I think we will get more traction if we just operate according to the kingdom principles the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. I mean, that's what's in the kingdom, right? I'm not, I'm just saying what's in the kingdom. You're going to find love in the kingdom. I don't think nobody's going to debate against that. You're going to find joy in the kingdom. You're going to find, you're going to find gentleness and goodness and, and long suffering and patience. You're going to find that where? In the kingdom. I'm not going to find that in the world. I'm not going to find it in the world. The world will kill me if I try to depend on the world. So go ahead and uh, this this use a couple of these scriptures here, and 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 once again is just talking more about the the uh, read my fact the whole slide there. Uh, let's talk about how we need to move forward as we go. Okay, this is Romans two four. Or despise us. That's kind of a weird way to start it. Yeah. <laughs> I could have put the rest of the scripts. I just wanted to get those guys the only one that lost. Got a two, three up in there. And <laughs> 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 despise us thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that he, that the, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Yes, sir, the goodness of God. Oh, hallelujah. I'm just talking, it's, it's, it's just, you know, it's funny when I was going through this and I was just focus on the long suffering, every time you always find some other aspect of the fruits of the spirit and characteristics embedded with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially the word goodness. Because I, I, I think even when, when uh, let, you don't mind if I go back real quick, when, when God complained to Moses, did, did he put that in what he say? Yeah, it was right there. <laughs> said we're goodness. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 this, is him, this is God doing a pro proclaiming of himself. He said, I am patient and abundance of goodness. And it's funny yeah. when, I, you know, that, that the scripture brought him out when the guy said, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What did you hear Jesus response? <laughs> he said, why call me, why call this me good? <laughs> There's only one 
good. Yeah. Wow. The only good we really talk about is it comes from God. Amen. Yeah, and, and then if, if, they, if, if you mainstream and they don't see truth in it, wow. see man's work. Wow. Yeah. But if it's in truth, you know, with love and compassion and gentleness, then they're going to receive it as truth from God. Yes. Not from man. Oh, man. That is is some of the things that I've been uh, meditating on because in First uh, Corinthians it talks about that. You know, Paul talks about that that these people receive their words as true mm. from God and not just men talking. Yes. And, and so in doing so that that's where the power of God was to, to, to make change in their life for, for, for that paradigm shift yeah <laughs> yeah yeah man I, I tell you just reading these uh is it, 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 it just it just changed it as far as me as far as just just understanding uh read the sec second Second one, there. Yeah. Okay, Second uh, Corinthians six six. By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned. Yeah, he just showed me these are some of the tools again. He's trying to set operate. Yeah, and then oh, two. <laughs> yeah, but through the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness. Faith, weakness, temper. Against such, there is no law. No law. Otherwise, you can't put like you said earlier. You, you even said earlier. You you can't you can't uh, you can't arrest nobody bearing these characteristics. What what accusations can you put on that that are justified? You can't. On None of it. No, no. You know it, it's it's. I guess he was talking about, you know, one of those guys, uh, I, I was looking sometime at some of those videos where you see the police come up and ask the person, why are you here? Right? Yeah. And, and the person spending more time sitting there saying my rights, uh, opposed to, I, I was sitting there saying, well, right now, well, I'll just tell you why I'm here. I'm waiting. Well, I saw one well with so I'm just waiting for my friend, right? And the cops sit there saying, that ain't good enough. <laughs> He said, he said, well, uh, what else you want me to give you? Uh, I'm waiting here. He said, why are you here? I'm waiting. This is one of the videos I saw recently. And But the guy, obviously the cop was wrong. But the man, you know, as long as he didn't, long as he didn't break and get angry and everything else, that cop really couldn't do too much more. Than yeah. off, right. All he could do, you know, well, give me, show me your ID. You know, now some people, I can understand. Some will say, well, in this state, you no, know, whatever state you may be in, depending on what state you're in, right? And and I guess that particular state, he said, unless I'm being uh, investigated for a crime or something, I, I don't have to show you my, my ID. You know, is it a crime that you you you're investigating, or uh, I, I don't need to show you my ID? You're not cooperative. Well, cooperative for what? What? What do, you, what do you want me to be cooperative for? About what? Well, I'm be, how are you supposed to be incooperative? You know, in other words, that guy. I like it because he he basically got he, he copied the lead because he had no you know he had no standing. In a lot of cases, what they tried to do, I think you heard it before. A lot of cases, they tried to provoke you. Oh yeah, they they they're they're trying to get you to do something or even say something to give them cause. Cause, exactly. That that's what they do. And then if they don't do that, if they if you don't if you bear all these fruit, at the end, they the ones gonna get reported. They the ones that's gonna have to. And yeah, I mean, look, there's unjust cops out there, so that there's a chance. Yeah. You know, there's always a chance that you can be unjustly uh, 
accused of, of being threat. Hey, it is what it is. Yeah, it is. And then the but yeah. finally, a lot of you show you, because you know, said in a lot of cases when you go to court, the one of the first thing he's going to ask you was the person cooperative, right? That that's what the judge is looking for. And if you should, you bear these fruits, uh, uh, what choice? He has no other choice but to say, yeah, he was. I I. Matter of fact, they probably will never bring you in if you're showing you your fruits of the spirit. A lot of cases, they they wait for your flesh. Cause all they need is you to go in the flesh. What's he going that flesh? Uh, you know, the game is on now. You know, uh, I was gonna put out. I was gonna put out a study, guys, where uh, as far as bigotry comes from. And and you haven't noticed. I was gonna put out one of the same I was gonna put out in Brother Addison and Jimmy was that if you always, if you raise a child to talk about a group of people, you know, if you say because of whether they're white or black. It doesn't matter or from a different region and you always you said these people are uh like for example uh if you sit and say these people are murderers and rapists or something like that if you say that and raise children to believe that do you know that that that's how they look at you and all they need is just an inkling of you doing something like that you remember telling us like somebody accused you of something there's some some groups of people will automatically believe that you did it man why why are you going down this road because you, you trying to you trying to start something <laughs> oh really i really i want to i want to start them because i mean obviously that's how this world is yeah and and that's what we need to be able to believe or not so to let's let's just move on past this because this conversation there's okay. No, there's no good fruit that's going to come from me. Okay. <laughs> I, I agree with you. Okay. I, 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 let me let me rephrase it a better way. My my point is that we want to not take anything toward people based on generality. We, we we want to have patience toward people, whether they're sinners or not. I think that's when I was looking at talking about the, the earlier scripture we read, why is your master sitting with these publicans and sinners? And Jesus said, because they need a physician. They need your compassion. They need the truth. They need the gospel. You know what? How you respond 